uh, it's uh, a pleasure and an honor for me to join my good friend Senator Sanders. I want to thank John Nichols for being here, Mike Keegan, Rob Weissman, and I'm really excited that, that Tia is here. Uh, Tia Lesson, one of the filmmakers behind this, I, I think, incredibly important film. Uh, important for all the reasons that, that uh, you just have heard. Uh, but it's really, also I think at this point in time, it's pretty simple. We've, we find ourselves in a, a moment in time when 32, 32 billionaires uh, can write checks of $10 million each and outspend the donations of 3.7 million small contributors. Uh, people start to doubt how much their voices really matter in this democracy. It's no surprise that some of the latest polling that, that has come out shows that 89% of Americans, 89% believe that there's too much corporate money in politics. And at home in South Florida, where I'm from and, and proud to represent, uh, voters, as, as uh, Senator Sanders pointed out, from across the political spectrum, uh, complain about the despicable attack ads, complain about the money, and really what it boils down to for them, and for all of us, I think, is who sets the agenda. Uh, and what it is that we're doing here in Washington. This week, across the Capitol in the House, the majority is bringing up a bill that they call the Healthy Forests for Healthy Communities Act. The Healthy Forests for Healthy Communities Act. Never mind that the idea behind the bill is that we, since we build healthy forests by cutting down all the trees. Uh, it ought to be called the Healthy Profits for the Timber Industry Act. That's what we're doing this week. There's also going to be a bill that we'll be voting on that will cut almost $40 billion in food stamps. That at a time when the farm bill is loaded with giveaways to agribusiness. Who sets the agenda? That's what's really at stake. Justice Stevens, in Citizens United, in one of the most powerful dissents uh, that I've read, uh, wrote that corporate domination of the airways prior to an election may decrease the average listener's exposure to relevant viewpoints. The marketplace of ideas is not actually a place where items or laws are meant to be sold. But that's what's at stake with all of this after Citizens United. So we're here today to see this great film to remind us of, of what we've already lost, what's at stake, and why it's so important for uh, for all of us to get behind this crusade. There's a reason that more than 500 communities around the country have expressed their support for an amendment overturning Citizens United. There's a reason that this is the most important issue that, that comes up at town hall meetings that we have and that take place all across the country. It's the reason that, we, that Senator Sanders and I have introduced our constitutional amendment, the Democracy is for People amendment. Uh, there, is, uh, there is at stake at this moment not just the question of what we're debating, but the question of whether we're going to continue to have a functioning democracy that works for every person in this country. Uh, that is really the threat that we face. This film will help highlight it, and I hope will help motivate even more people to get behind uh, our effort and the efforts of so many here on Capitol Hill, and more importantly, the efforts at the grassroots level to amend the Constitution, to overturn Citizens United, and to return our democracy back to the people where it belongs. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be here with all of you. Thank you.